Hello, it's Chris Pickard at Body Imbalance back with more fibromyalgia news. Last week, I was very excited putting together a series of videos explaining what we do for fibromyalgia in the clinic and then working out why what we're doing is, ha is having an effect and putting together my theory about what the cause of fibromyalgia is, the cause of the symptoms and what we can do about it. All backed on what's found in the scientific papers. Um, this weekend, um, if you're only just watching this, you'll know that this weekend in the UK we had a blinder of a weekend. So I was in the garden doing some stuff down in the allotment as well, just keeping myself healthy and happy, enjoying the sunshine. While I was enjoying the sunshine, I was reading one of the most recent papers that was published this month, um, and it's the catchly titled Fibromyalgia Syndrome Pathology and environmental influences on afflictions with medically unexplained symptoms. There you go, and it's got well over a hundred reference articles in it as well. It was published uh, in Environmental Health in, in view of review of in, in, review of environmental health, and it pretty much um, goes through the same theory that I've put together that it's. An incredibly complex process. It is linked very much with environmental toxins. Uh, there's definitely an involvement of estrogen and toxic estrogens, stress, all kinds of things. What the author hasn't picked up on yet, it hasn't he hasn't picked up on the role of AMPK. So I'll hope to try and contact them and and see if they will help. Um, but what they have found is they found another amazing. Um, amazingly complex biofeedback or loop from the hands and from the blood vessels of the hands and how it seems to affect the whole of our health and they found that, again in fibromyalgia patients there's an, an uncommon amount of, of neural endings around certain parts of certain um, arteries certain, uh, certain blood vessels in the hand and now what they haven't said is that this seems to be the cause of it. They know that it's important and it's part of it. And again, it seems unlikely that people are born with this. It's probably something that the lack of AMPK problems in the environment problems cause this increase in neural tissue, which over time may then develop into fibromyalgia. But it's again, it's it's an amazing article. Um, it's pretty um, pretty in depth, as with all scientific papers. Uh, well worth a read, uh, really goes into a lot of detail about a lot of the complexity and possible ways forward to help with fibromyalgia. I can't even say it today. I've had a long day, please forgive me. I hope this brings you some, some hope that we can help you, that you can help fibromyalgia. And click on the links below, read more about what I've written take all these articles to your GP, to your medical doctor, to your health practitioner and start using this information and getting healthier.